there. I ruined it. Very 70s. Just gonna say yee and throw them away. I always make such a mess with the powder. Oh, this smells so good. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So uh, today we are picking up where we left off uh, two weeks ago uh, at the Zodiac uh, sign series thing that I'm doing uh, and this week is going to be Libra as you can see by the title and uh, this week's makeup looks pretty like decent and delicate and cute uh, it's some pink um, eyeshadow Um, and for the outfit, um, she has some really cute, like, crop top, beige color kind of thing. I do not own anything like that, so we're doing black again. And hair, the hair is so cool. Finally, I have the color for it. Uh, I'm not sure how I'm gonna do with the style. I'll try. I haven't done it exactly like that yet, so let's see how that works. And for the lips, it's some, some orangey metallic thing, which is a little strange and I don't have. I have something that resembles that color in one way or another, but nothing so metallic and shiny of that. I don't know, we'll see. And today I already came in with the eyebrows on as always and with the foundation this time. And that is because my skin is not doing great today. I'm experiencing some redness, some blemishes, and I just decided to, to do it before I come on so I don't look like a, I don't know, watermelon here. Um, I used my uh, 2N and 3N from Perfect Match as always. And yeah, I, I did not uh, set it yet with powder uh, and I did not apply concealer yet. And uh, that's where we are going to start today. So uh, I will shut up now and I will get to it. So um, we are doing um, concealer and then we're setting uh, everything with powder to end from perfect match. Uh, I'm not sure the foundation focused earlier, so I'm just gonna show it again because I, I changed some settings in the camera because it's always so zoomed in and I did not want that. So now I'm trying to shoot this in 4K and see how that's gonna work. My cat chewed again on my second favorite uh, blender, so now I have two left and none of the shape that I need. This is the powder I am using to set everything. I always make such a mess with the powder in my hair, on my clothes, everywhere. I don't know. I'm not talented with it, okay? So, uh, next thing we're applying some concealer for the eyelids and we're moving into the eyeshadow. We need some, some light to dark pink and some brownish for the crease. We are using the HD Pro palette for this from Revolution. It's, uh, it has all the colors that I need, copper, a pink, a darker pink and uh, white. And then we will see um, if that's enough or if I need to use another one. Now we're gonna start with the uh, eyelid concealer. And we will start for the crease with um, very little of this red over here. I hope you can see. Um, and hope that it's not too strong.
My cat came to go check on me. He probably thinks like, what are you doing? You're talking to yourself. Pet me, love me. What are you doing? And I need something a little darker for right above the crease. Um, I'm not sure what's gonna work over there. It's some kind of brown and these are all bright. I will go with my favorite <laughs> for the crease from the other palette from this one. And that's dark enough, just need to blend it and go in for the pink. We're using this fluffy brush to blend. And we're adding some white right above it. Next we're going for, for some pink. I'm going for this one here and this one here, <clears throat> maybe combining the two. Okay, we have a problem. This was not supposed to be shiny and it is and I'm gonna change to Amazon palette because those from there are matte. We have an entire row of pink, like a lot and I'm gonna go for the for the best pastel one over here um yeah let's see i never used it before so i completely forgot that when i'm shooting in 4k the camera stops automatically after 10 minutes so i was talking for nothing while i was doing my eyeliner I don't know how much of the footage is gone from what I've seen. I was pretty done with the eyeshadow and then I said that I will do the eyeliner, which was a struggle anyway, so you didn't miss that much. Uh, but I think I need to put a timer next to me and make sure that that doesn't happen again. Yeah, sad times. And I'm supposed to use also some black eyeliner under the eye and I'm gonna go with the with a solid one because the liquid one is not gonna be good. I think that's enough, let's not overdo it this time. Um, Lash Sensational Mascara. I'm actually not sure if she has false lashes on this one, but I will add them anyways, I think, because why not? Before that, we're doing some contouring with the um, Maxi Matte Bronzing Powder. And I am feeling blush today. I'm using this from L'Oreal, the blush in shade 120 Rose Santo. Oh, this smells so good. As for the lipstick, uh, the closest thing I have to that kind of orange is uh, Superstay from Maybelline New York. This one in the shade don't know it's gone what am I doing where's contouring hmm. that was the wrong shade I need the other one I have three of them and I mix them up this one is more shiny I think this is the closest as we're ever going to get to that orange 
I mean, I can add some, some gold to it, I guess, but that's gonna look horrible. There, I ruined it. Very 70s. But that's actually pretty much what she has there. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave it. And magnetic eyelashes. We're doing these. They never stick these ones. Why do I keep trying to use them every time? One day I'm just gonna completely give up on these lashes. Like, just gonna say yee and throw them away. Uh, let's do some highlighter. Oh, and uh, by the way, before starting everything, I did my skin routine. If you'd like to know what that is, I have a video that I posted last week about it, and there you can see everything that I'm using before uh, applying my makeup to my face. Uh, so, uh, we are done with the makeup. This went smoother than other times, I would say. Uh, but now we're moving on to hair. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna do something similar, but not the same. Oh my god, my hair is still wet. Great. That's not gonna work out. So I don't really see what I'm doing or where it even starts, but I'm gonna turn around and do it on camera. Basically it's kind of like a French braid, but you take hair from like the loose part and you keep adding. Or it's just a braid across and then you pass hairs through. I don't know, let's try. From from like above, nothing from from underneath. And more wasted footage, because as I was doing this with the through in the back, I didn't see that my camera fell. So it shot basically nothing. But anyways, uh, I will show you how it looks in the back. In the front is not great. It looks like that for now and I'm gonna braid in the front also a little bit God, my hair is so wet this is difficult with the wet hair and I think I'm supposed to tie it all together here somehow what a disaster and then I was supposed to pull some hairs through but I don't know if that's gonna work, it might ruin the whole thing. So I think I'm, I'm, I'm gonna leave it like this and turn around once again. I don't know how it's looking, probably not very good. I'm sorry if it's a mess. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope you had fun. Um, let me know down below what you think. Uh, if you're gonna try it, if it's your zodiac sign. Um, and what you think of the hair. If you would try it, if you would dare. I did, but um, I think I need to try it a few more times before it's actually gonna look good. I'm probably gonna take a picture from behind now and see the horrific result. Unless it's good, I don't know. It can be also good. But uh, yeah, uh, please uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys next week. Bye!